All right, this video is going to cover the 2024 Arkansas tax deed auctions. We're looking at all the counties, all the auctions. The auction season is about to get started here this summer, so there's a lot of opportunity here for you to consider if you're a tax investor. These tax deeds are very desirable for a lot of reasons. A lot of people like that they are uh, non-redeemable, so when you buy the tax deed, the redemption period is ex it expires the day of the auction. And uh, there's a lot of opportunities. It's a nice supply of properties to choose from as well. And so uh, you can see on the map, we're just sort of browsing around right now. These pockets of yellow are uh, some areas with uh, properties just sprinkled all over that will be in the auction, at least as of the latest advertisement. And so what we'll do is we'll use this feeder to break down how the auctions work. We're gonna start and give you some background just to get you started in case you're new to Arkansas auctions. Again, these are very desirable, very beneficial auctions for tax investors, very tax investor friendly state overall. So uh, we'll cover some basics, some background to get you going, and then uh, we'll move into the size of the opportunity by county, by the state, some of the uh, year over year totals. And then we'll do a live demo here, unscripted of just uh, property research and how to look through what's in the auction. So uh, on that note, let's get started with the background information. If you want to skip between topics, just use the chapter markers. I will place them in the video as soon as we release. And you can just jump to whatever section of the video you want to. If you don't want to go over the basics with me, then you can jump straight to some of the more uh, interesting topics for you. So with those uh, basics, let's get started with our Arkansas tax deeds at an auction at a glance and how they work. We, the format of the auction is premium bid. We use these terms a lot on this channel, so if you're not familiar with premium bid, it means that there's a starting bid and additional bidders will actually place bids above that value and the highest bid will win. It's very different from like the bid down format or some of the shared interest formats. This is really just a, sort of a traditional auction format where you just the highest bidder wins and uh, it's actually, these auctions are in person, so it's very traditional uh, on that note when you think about um, actually bidding in person and being in an auction uh, live in person. So the locations will vary by auction. And one thing that Arkansas does really well is when a few small counties or, or counties with small tax and inventories need to have an auction, they will combine some of the smaller ones together and I'll show you on our calendar in a minute what that looks like but what's nice about that is if there are five auctions on one day you can go to one place and attend five counties worth of auctions in one place it's, it's very efficient and, and well well organized and I'm referring to the Commissioner of State Lands as the people that organize this because uh, they are definitely our favorite state to work with just Arkansas does a great job of consistency and organization and training for their auctions. So uh, the COSL.org is a great statewide resource for tax deeds in Arkansas. We'll cut over there for a second and uh, this is COSL.org. It's the Commissioner of State Lands. This website is your lifeline for everything about these auctions and for the leftovers as well. But basically, they have uh, some video training, some online auction videos, a lot of stuff going on here. They even have a Facebook page or a group you can join and follow some of their posts about the auctions. They post photos and just different notes about it. So by far and away, one of the best organized states that we've ever seen for tax auctions. And uh, it's worth noting they do manage both the annual tax auction season, which is where the counties are auctioning off their tax deeds from the current year or the, the taxes that are due in this uh, previous year rather but it's just the current tax auction season and the COSL also manages the sales of leftover unpurchased tax deeds from previous years so it all goes through uh, one organization but those auctions do act very differently and we'll go over that too but in short new tax deeds are available in the tax auction season annually just once a year per county and the leftovers are available year-round through little miniature auctions that are just that just happen as soon as you bid on a property it kicks off a 30-day auction and starts that process so both are viable ways to pick up tax deeds just depending on your style if you want to shop online 
then you might want to go through the leftovers and try to buy online on those auctions. But if you can make it an attend in person and get some of those new properties and the better selection, you might want to go in person for the new tax deeds that are released uh, and, and hit them up with that first chance to buy. And as I already mentioned, they do have training resources online, they have videos, a lot of stuff to help you get started at COSL.org. So let's talk about the season. We've got some history here since we started tracking. Uh, in 2020, we were loaded up and ready to uh, track the auction season. The properties were released and they were announced and the auction season got canceled in April, obviously for COVID reasons, since these auctions are in person. They just literally canceled the whole season. So 2021 came and instead of selling uh, the, the canceled year and the current year, they only sold the 2020 offerings, just the ones from the canceled year. So delinquent taxes the next year were actually just held for another year. And that auction season was interesting. It was actually July through November, a little bit longer than uh, usual. So in 2022, they said we need to sell the current delinquent tax deed properties plus the year that they skipped. They were still uh, a year behind. So the 2022 was a massive year. They combined the 2021s and 2022 tax deeds, combined those two years, and ran that from March through November, which was a very long season. And as the season approached and some of the redemptions happened, they consolidated, reorganized, and got it down to March through September. They, they kind of adjusted that season down. So uh, you can see that that year it was spring through fall. It was a very long season. And last year, 2023, uh, the auction season was announced to be July 11th through September 26th. They held to it, stuck to it, and, and ran it as planned. And this year it's almost identical within two days, the same season, July 9th through September 24th. So it seems like we're back to a normal rhythm here. And I think you can safely say that the Arkansas tax deed auction season goes from early July to late September. So let's talk about the totals. I wanna, I wanna show you the size of the opportunity available at auction. And this year they advertised 6,102 tax deeds to go to auction. Uh, 1,807 of those had structures. We had to do a little estimation there because one of the counties does not have mapping data online, but we uh, used some, uh, some averages and statistics to figure that one out and get it pretty close for you. This is 29.6%, so it's lower by comparison to other state tax investing markets. Uh, it's probably worth noting Arkansas has a lot of rural areas that are maybe less fit for structures or maybe just more agricultural, so we see a lot of undeveloped lots, for instance. So it's, it's not too surprising that it's a smaller percentage of the properties have structures than other states. The total auction property value is $127 million. The total delinquent taxes for the year, $8 million. And here's a breakdown year over year of how that looks. You can see 2021, of course, that was the 2020 properties slid over a year, like I just mentioned. And so they're about almost 10,000. In 2022, we had the double year where two years of deeds were sold. So they were double, about 18,000. And then last year, you saw it go down to 7,000. This year, the advertisement was even lower at 6,000. So uh, I don't know if that's going to be a continuing trend or if, you, if this is just a, a year that's kind of um, around the average or what. But uh, what you can see is basically, um, I think 23 and 24, you're kind of getting into what normal is going to look like for the coming years unless something something changes so let's go by the uh, counties and talk about the largest counties here this is a good time for me to mention uh, we have all the counties in parcel fair on the website and we do analysis on all the counties and the valuations except for one county and I've mentioned this in previous videos Fulton County Arkansas just does not have GIS mapping online and a lot of their services are not available online. So one county in Arkansas, we have to do estimates and sort of um, guesstimates on even. But uh, you can still see those properties on our website. They just won't be on the map. They're going to be in the lists only. So here are the top 10 counties by total number of tax deeds going to auction. And uh, you can see these numbers are actually uh, pretty all over the place, <laughs> if you will. Uh, Pulaski County up top has 44% have structures, and then Jefferson right on line with 42%. But then 
the third county only has 2% of the structures. And so you see some of these counties have just uh, mostly land for sale in these tax deed auctions and very few uh, properties with structures. And then you see some of them are 50% or even higher. So this may be a good way for you to select and pick and choose your county based on your strategy is think about what are you trying to buy? Are you, are you trying to buy land or big acreage or structures? And I'll show you how to do that research in just a moment here. So let's uh, actually kick over and do that live demo for you. I'm uh, actually gonna start with the auction calendar. This is Parcel Fair. This is the tool that this YouTube channel is built for. And uh, what we have in front of you right now is the auction calendar for 2024 for the state of Arkansas. There's other states, of course, but this video is not about those states. So you see, starting on July 9th, we have five auctions on the first day. But if you remember what I mentioned earlier in the video, Arkansas likes to combine auctions so that some of the smaller counties have their auctions on the same day in the same place. So you don't have to attend five different locations, it will be combined in one place. And uh, so you'll see the next auction, same week, two days later in Pulaski, that's going to be uh, a single county that day because there were enough parcels to justify it. Uh, another thing worth noting is the numbers on this screen are the current advertisement numbers, which are lower than the original advertisement. What I went through at the beginning of this video were the original numbers advertised just as a uh, benchmark or, or starting point. But as the auction season approaches, we're going to see numbers go down as people have that last chance to redeem their property before the auction. And so, uh, again, these are the numbers right now. They will probably continue to go down before these auctions occur. And you still have more than a month here before the first auction, so there, there, there's going to be more movement here. So, uh, again, moving July 9th, July 11th. And then uh, every week it looks like you have a couple auctions. Uh, some of them are going to be big combined many counties. This uh, July 23rd has seven counties on the same day. And then on the uh, 25th you have a single county with a lot of parcels just in that one county. So uh, they've done a really good job planning this out, pacing it so they don't have all the auctions on one day like Oklahoma or Iowa. They also don't, um, I guess, put you know every day of the week auction, auction, auction. It's really paced nicely if you are um, a traveling investor or want to go uh, to different counties. You can actually plan your travel around with a few days of padding in between, maybe get to uh, see the state a little bit. So uh, most of this is just repetitive. It goes through August. It goes all the way into September and through the end of September. 24th is the last auction with three counties to put together. So that's how this looks on the auction calendar. Uh, you know, at the beginning we, we did take a peek at this map, so why don't we uh, spend some more time here. Uh, you're looking at, I mean, every county of course except for Fulton County has properties on the map. So uh, if you start here at the west side, we're looking at, which county is this? This would be Sebastian County. And so I just clicked the first property I saw and we can see it has land and structures on it, uh, on the land, with a $63,000 valuation. Let's Let's click on it and actually see the property. So uh, from this report here, I can tell you that the improvements were $47,550. Uh, total value here, $63,550, and the land was $16,000. The amount due, which is also going to be the, uh, the opening bid at the auction, is $3,690. So if you go to the Sebastian tax deed auction, the bidding will start at $3,690.02 and will bid up from that point until the highest bidder wins. If you are interested in this auction, every one of these properties that you find on our site will have a purchase options block and information if you click that button to show you when and where the auction is. And uh, these links are gonna be useful too, this tax sale information and the auction list. The tax sale information will take you to this specific auctions information on the COSL website. Actually, I apologize, it's taking you to a list of all of them. So Sebastian's right here. Um, it's basically the same information we had on the other page before. Of course, this is the website where you would uh, read up on some of the, the rules right here and even the registration details. So um, good to familiarize with, with those type of details just so you know you're registered in time. And the auction list, if you click that button, it takes you to this page where you can see some of the Entry canceled, or those are the redemptions that happened after the advertisement. 
but for the most part, um, a lot of the properties are still available in this county from the original advertisement. It is worth noting this request petition button on the right. Um, they've done a good job decorating this page to tell you this is not the page where you buy or bid on the property. This big red box right here tells you this paying someone else's delinquent taxes will not give you ownership of the property. If you pay these taxes online, you're just giving somebody money. You're not buying the property. You have to do that at the auction. So going back to our property here, if I wanted to check out the neighborhood, I've got a panorama view button right here. I can uh, take a peek and say, you know, this neighborhood looks very safe, very nice. Uh, people seem to care about their houses and maybe if I want to try to buy this as a rental property, it may be a good investment if I like that neighborhood. Moving uh, down the page, uh, there are quite a few research links for every county in Arkansas. You can see there's a property assessor, a search there, and a tax collector, a circuit clerk, which is useful when you're looking at clearing a title on the deed and getting uh, actually getting the deed, and then the county website. And of course, there's the property card, which takes you to the county's website where they host all these property cards. Uh, it is running slow today. There we go. So this is giving us some other information if we want to keep reading up on this property, see some new pictures, and even if you think you can view it in their map at the bottom of the page if that loads up. So let's go back. Those are the research links that I just showed you. And uh, they're useful, again, if you're trying to dig into a property and actually learn more about it. Uh, as far as parcel fare goes, you can also uh, add properties to list. Let's call this my Arkansas shopping list. Save that. And so now I have this saved in a list for later. I might even make a new one and say um, Arkansas rental potential. If I wanted to keep this in like a, a list of properties that I might want to consider for rental properties. I can even add notes here and say uh, Check out the neighborhood and county registration rules, something, you know, just whatever I want to tell myself for later. So uh, trying to keep your research organized is something that we've put a lot of time and effort into giving you these features. You can, uh, the list, the notes, and you can even add attachments if you go take photos of the property or have other documents you want to keep track of. So this is really how you would go through and work through the auction is uh, take a property, add it to a list, put notes on it. But let's talk about, you know, we're still looking at on the map 9,172 parcels. Uh, what if I want to filter that down? So uh, let's pretend that this Sebastian County that I'm looking at is, uh, I've chosen to go to that auction. It, it's not a huge auction. There's 139 properties right now. But one thing we can do right off the bat is narrow that down by improvements. Remember, only a percentage of the properties actually have structures. So we took it down to 67 properties. Another thing we can do in parcel fair is the, uh, the inventory filter right here. Right now you'll notice we're looking at everything, all inventories, which includes over-the-counter opportunities and upcoming auctions. So over-the-counter, actually there's, there are no over-the-counters right now, but there are 67 auction if we do that. That's a useful filter in counties that have both. We don't really need to change the availability because there are no liens and delinquency we don't really care about. We're looking at the auction this year. But we might care about the total value. Uh, I might want to only look at properties worth more than uh, $30,000 and worth uh, less than, uh, let's say, one hundred fifty. dollars So, you know, you, you can change that range to your strategy. Let's put it down to $100,000. That takes us down to 38 properties. Uh, the taxes owed will filter on that, that opening bid that uh, treats that as though like uh, you're basically filtering that opening bid. So let's say my opening bid, I want to put a minimum of $2,000 and a maximum of $5,000. So I'm down to 26 properties now. And uh, now if I want to switch counties, I can actually just uh, go to my button here and just click on any of the counties. I see Sharp County has one match for that criteria. Uh, let's go to Hot Spring, it has five properties. <laughs> Arkansas County has three. Uh, let's just try another one here. Mississippi County, maybe 20 properties that meet that. And then I can uh, click on this button, go and actually go view those properties. 
Uh, one way you can do it is view it on the, on the right hand side here, like in the film strip mode. And if you see something you like, you can always uh, click find on map and go take a closer look at it. Uh, I like to switch over to satellite view when I'm looking down like this. And I can see the rooftop. It looks like these houses are joined, probably some type of condo or townhome. And so that, that tells me some things just from this kind of helicopter aerial view as well. So uh, yeah, there's there's just so many approaches you can take here. It's if you if you know the city or the area, you could just kind of surf by the street like this and click on houses and uh, get some of their details that way. Uh, but one other way I like to do this when my search results are down to just 20 properties uh, at the top on the right hand side here, I I like this blue button that says parcel results, and I will just view these results in a grid which gives me a different view of the properties where I can sort by the valuation. Uh, these column headers are clickable. That's the most expensive property up top inside of my search. I can sort by the amount due. Remember, I have filters applied, so the amount due will not be over $5,000. And that gives me different ways just to think through the auction and uh, what my strategy might be. I can also uh, send these to a spreadsheet or save as a list here if I want to organize for later. A lot of people like that CSV spreadsheet feature, especially if they have a team where they're going to send people out to look at properties. So let's go uh, back to our map and let's clear my filters. Uh, Mississippi County has 290 matching properties if I clear everything out. Let's uh, try this acreage filter out. I mentioned earlier Arkansas has uh, some uh, larger land available. <laughs> so this county has one property over 10 acres. Let's go see it. So yeah, I can get a look. It's actually the uh, definitely agricultural around this house that's been carved out, I'm sure, for tax reasons, where uh, you're, you'll be buying the deed on the property, uh, the outer property, not the inner property. Let's take that 10-acre um, filter and let's check out some other counties. Let's go to, uh, let's go back to Sebastian. Let's see if there's anything there. Oh, there's two properties in Sebastian that meet that. Uh, one of them is mostly water, it looks like. Wow, on the Arkansas River. That's a new one. And uh, the other one is uh, not far away. It's the uh, river banks right here to the north of it. So uh, I just want to go look at all the counties in the state and 10 acres and see how many properties there are. 122 in the whole state that have more than 10 acres of land. So that's another way you can just uh, slice through the auctions. I really am just trying to equip you with tools so that you can take your strategy and go filter these auctions down um, really just to see what you want to see. But uh, again, 10 acres, you can imagine it's typically going to be something more agricultural. You're not going to find that probably in the downtown of the city. So again, another strategy that's just very niche for maybe uh, certain people it would be 10 acres or more. So let's, uh, let's go back and do one last strategy here and we'll close out. Uh, if I want to look at the entire auction and I want to look at just improvements, I'm going to factor out my over-the-counters and look at uh, just the upcoming auctions. That's going to take out those leftovers from previous years and just give me the upcoming auctions, the deeds that are uh, freshly newly minted. And so again, I have upcoming auctions with improvements, so no vacant land. Uh, I'm going to set my total value at uh, Again, we'll do 30,000. I'm going to target that rental market. Um, let's put it at uh, 150. 150,000. 30,000 to 150,000. And let's uh, set my, since I'm, I'm going to an auction, I want to make sure the bid's at least, let's we'll say $1,000. And let's say I don't want to max bid over $6,000. And then lastly, if I want to. Uh, maybe get a situation where the title could be easier to clear hypothetically this isn't a guarantee but maybe I want to go ahead and just do out-of-state owners or something like that where maybe the owner is further from the situation and maybe the property has less likelihood less likely to redeem before the auction comes because an out-of-state owner is less involved maybe I have a better chance of the property making it to auction and I only got two parcels off of that what did I do here <laughs> so uh, probably the out-of-state owners. Let's see if I do all owners. Yeah, it looks like most of those owners are going to be in-state. So if you really want to narrow it down, out-of-state owners will get you narrowed down probably too far. Uh, so yeah, let's just look at those 586 properties. 
a lot of them are in Little Rock, so we're kind of back to where we started at the beginning of the video. This is a, a downtown looking area. And what you're looking at here are, again, what I've considered possibly uh, rental properties, uh, or properties with potential because the value for what you can charge for rent is, is uh, kind of in that ratio you'd be looking for. Um, and we know there's a structure on there. Let's just uh, take a peek at this one. So yeah, this is kind of what you're looking for, a value of $60,000. Uh, the opening bid at auction will be $2,800. We have no idea how high the property is going to bid. It's going to depend on who shows up that day and how uh, expensive they want to make this. <laughs> but uh, ultimately, uh, you're just looking at yet another uh, tax deed auction here. In the purchase options, we can click that and see this is going to be July 11th, 11th at the State Fairgrounds and in Little Rock. And so all the information we need to go bid on this property is here. And if we want to, uh, again, we can check out the neighborhood here and say, um, uh, you know, zoom in on the house. It's actually boarded up, at least when this photo was taken. That's good to know. I still don't see, you know, roof damage or things like that. So it's a good sign that uh, maybe we could do something with this house. So that's what we would take a look at at this property, is just kind of investigate the neighborhood and see if it's rental material for us. So, uh, so much to look at here. Again, all the county links and, um, tools to organize and filter your search results too. So I think this will set you up nicely for the Arkansas auction season if you plan to attend. Uh, it should be, um, again, it's a very desirable auction series. This season gets a lot of attention every year. And uh, your advantage of going in person is that you're only bidding against the people in the room instead of tons of people online if it was an online auction. So that's something to keep in mind. It might be worth attending some of these auctions if you want to pick up some good tax deeds. So I hope this was a good overview for you for the Arkansas auction season. I know um, several folks that will be traveling there and going from county to county. And uh, I'd love to hear your stories. I'd love to hear your successes or what you learned as you go. So please reach out. We uh, always like to chat about experience. And uh, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel today if you want to get more videos like this and, and be notified when we release. And like the video for us as well. It helps the channel. And uh, until next time, I uh, hope you take care and have a great week.